Hi students and future economists. Today we're going to learn how to calculate the total income tax that's owed uh, in a progressive tax system like the one that the United States has. Uh, so the individual we're going to look at today is making $67,000 in taxable income. So it falls in the marginal tax rate, at least in 2012, uh, of 25%. Now most people think that means that this individual owes 25% of 67,000 in taxes, but that's not the case. It depends on uh, each level that you go up in the marginal tax rate. So that's what we're going to calculate today. We're also going to calculate the average tax rate. So we know that this individual's taxable income is $67,000 per year. So your first step is going to be just to find where the marginal tax rate is. That marginal tax rate is just going to be where that $67,000 falls into the numbers that are given. So here we're given the 2012 federal income tax brackets. 67,000 is going to fall in this bracket right here. So what we know is that the marginal tax rate for this individual is 25%. So again, this does not mean that this individual has to pay 25% of 67,000 in income taxes. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go through each tax bracket along the way to see how much income tax this person owes at each different bracket. So what we need to do is every tax bracket that comes before 67,000, we have to calculate those individually. So let's look at this first one. This first one says between the dollars of zero and 8,700, that amount you have to pay 10%. Well, that's simple, 8,700 minus zero dollars is just $8,700. And this person, along with everyone who makes over $8,700 in taxable income, has to pay 10%. So what's 10% of 8,700? Some quick math tells us it's $870. So right now we found the amount of tax this individual owes on his first $8,700. But this person made $67,000, so we have to go ahead and look at the next tax bracket. So we continue to go up to this next tax bracket, the 15% tax bracket. This tax bracket only goes up to 35 350 so we haven't reached the 67,000 limit yet so we must have to pay on this entire bracket so this entire bracket is 35,350 minus that $8,700 and that amount of this person's income they have to pay 15% or 0.15 on it so let's get out a calculator pretty simple we say 35,350 minus 8,700, which is 26,650. So that means that the next $26,650 of this individual's income is taxed at the rate of 15%. So times 0.15, which gets us $3,997.50. $3,997.50. But we still haven't gotten to the point of 67,000. And so we finally get there because in this next tax bracket, the 25% tax bracket, is where that $67,000 falls. Now this person, unlike the previous tax bracket, is not going to pay this entire amount multiplied by the 25% because somewhere in the middle here is where that 67,000 falls. So we're only going to pay taxes on that difference, that 67,000 minus the beginning of that tax bracket, which is 35,350. And since we're in the 25% bracket, we're simply gonna pay 25% of it. Again, we get our calculator and we see it's 67,000 minus 35,350, which means the next, or I guess in this case, the final $31,650 of this individual's income gets taxed at 25%, so simply times 0.25, and we get $7,912.50. $7,912.50. So now we know for each tax bracket, the 10%, the 15%, and the 25%, how much this individual owes. So the total tax, we're simply just going to sum the three of them up. We've got $870, plus we've got 3,997.50, plus we've got $7,912.50, and we get $7,912.50. 
12,780. And if we look over here, that's one of the answers that we're given, so the answer is going to be B. Now, if we look at question seven, we want the average tax rate. So first of all, let's define average tax rate. And it's simply going to be the tax owed divided by the taxable income. And we're going to multiply this by 100 just to get it into a rate. And so what's the tax owed? Well, we have it right here, 12,780. What was their taxable income? Let's go back to the question, $67,000. Multiply it by 100 to get a rate. We go back to our handy dandy calculator and we have 12,780. It's already in the calculator, which is good. We divide that by 67,000 and we times that by 100 to get it into a percentage, which is 19.07%. So again, let's write that down, 19.07%, which is approximately 19.1%. And as we see, that's going to be an answer, so answer is E. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about marginal tax rates. Uh, this is not intended for you to use to try and calculate uh, how much you owe in tax because there's a lot of stuff in the U.S. tax code. You've got to worry about which part of your income is taxable. Uh, you've got, you know, how many deductions you're going to take, yada, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this was made basically just for my students in my introductory to micro and macroeconomics course on how to uh, look at a progressive tax system like we have here in the United States. Feel free to check out the other videos that I post here on YouTube, and I look forward to making a few more as I continue my career teaching economics. You can check out my website, jamestierney.com, or follow me on Twitter with my handle of at james underscore tierney. Thanks. Take care.